Hello everybody, welcome to iExamB. Embrace the iExamB learning experience. In this video, I am going to address most common queries related to SEBI IT 2025 exam. I have circulated a Google form recently and I am going to answer the questions that have been asked in that Google form in this video. If after this video, your queries are still pending or you need elaboration on any of the question, mention that in the comment below or you can fill the Google form attached in the description or you can write to us at hello at the rate iexambi.com. The first question is want to know everything about SEBI IT officer exam. I have made multiple videos related to this. On this channel, there is one video about SEBI IT 2025 complete details. You can refer to that video and various subsequent videos. If you need a consolidated PDF in which everything about SEBI IT exam is mentioned, you can download that from the description. This SEBI IT complete guide is added in the description. It contains all the details related to SEBI IT exam about the job profile, about career progression, salary and perks, vacancy strength, eligibility, about SEBI, about the exam pattern, about the syllabus, about the cutoff, selection criteria, preparation guide and all the important links related to previous year papers, mock test. Everything is present in this guide. You can download this from the description. After going through this PDF, if you have any queries, you, you can write to us and I'll address those queries for you. Coming to the next question, how to prepare for SEBI IT with current job? This is the most common question of working professionals. How to start your preparation, how to manage time, how to prepare along with job. So here I will suggest you that create a plan for you. With job, you may be able to give say, around 2 to 4 hours on a daily basis on weekdays and on weekends, this time may increase to 5 to 6 hours. So accordingly, you should devote your time. If you are good in coding, you can keep practice of coding on the weekend and on a daily basis, you can focus on phase 1, paper 2 about your concepts. If you are not at all good in coding and you have to start from basics of coding, every day you can devote time to your IT concepts and coding. On the weekend, you can devote time to quant reasoning English and you can devote some of your time for GA on weekends. If you need a detailed study plan for your preparation of SEBI IT 2025 along with your job, let me know and I'll try to give you a plan which will guide you for the topics you have to study on a daily basis for the time you should be able to devote to your topics on weekends. Then there is a question, I want to know how to prepare for phase 2 of SEBI Grady IT. So here I understand you are talking about the coding paper and descriptive English paper. For descriptive English, start reading editorials and start improving your typing, comprehending and writing skills. For your coding paper, start from your basics. In fact, we are starting a new batch for SEBI IT 2025 exam from November 30, 2024. The new batch and intro class is on November 30 at 6 p.m. which will be taken by Shivangi ma'am. In this course, you have live classes, practice tests, study material, PDF, short course videos, interview guidance and this course will also help you in the preparation of your phase 2 coding paper in detail. This is the class plan. This is added in the description. When you check out the class plan, you will see your QRE GA descriptive English classes are scheduled on a weekly basis in this way. QRE every day from Monday to Friday. General awareness two classes every week. Descriptive English classes every Tuesday. Then you have your IT classes every Monday and Thursday. Monday is devoted to concepts classes and Thursday is devoted to programming classes. So in these classes, Shivangi ma'am will be guiding you on the various concepts and topics of IT paper. She will also tell you how you can practice coding, what kind of programs you can expect in phase 2 paper 2. So this course can help give you a detailed guidance of your SEBI IT phase 2 preparation. If you are preparing on your own, you can start building your fundamentals of coding. You can choose any language, Java, Python, C++ and you can visit their official websites and start understanding what are the basic syntaxes, what are the basic topics present in coding. Please understand here, preparation strategy of every student is very personal because it depends upon their strengths, weaknesses, upon your preparation level, upon your understanding of various topics which are present in the exam. So here, this preparation strategy may vary from student to student. So in order to get a detailed preparation strategy, reach out to us via email or contact us on the mention number. But in general, you should start your preparation for IT topics, for your phase 2 paper to coding, for your phase 1 paper 2 concepts, start reading newspaper for building up your essay points and also start practicing your quant reasoning topics. 
Then another question is, are the notification out for SEBI IT 2025? Not yet. SEBI IT 2024 recruitment is currently ongoing. The interviews are still ongoing and the result is not yet out. After the result, we will be placing an RTI to know the vacancies which are there in IT officer profile. And then we will be able to give you an idea about when we can expect the notification, how many vacancies we can expect. So as of now, I cannot give you a confirmed notification date. The next question is want to know more details about SEBI IT exam, SEBI preparation, SEBI workshop link. You, will you cover full syllabus or not? Yes. In the course, the complete syllabus is covered. You will definitely have to give in time for practice, for revision, for preparation. You will have to be focused, continuous, dedicated to your preparation. We can teach you, we can guide you, we can cover the syllabus for you. But you will have to learn it, you will have to revise it. So you will have to put in the hard work and time required for the preparation. Then the next query is, can you give complete guidelines about SEBI IT exam? I think I have already covered that. If not, please refer to the complete guide and then ask this query again. The next is, I am from electrical engineering background. So what are the chances of clearing exam along with job? You can clear this exam. You are eligible. Now here I understand you may not be very efficient with the IT concepts, with the basics of coding, but you have time right now. Give some time on a daily basis for your understanding of IT concepts and coding. You can also join the new batch and you can prepare in a slow and steady manner all the topics that are going to be discussed in the class. Then the next is how to prepare for coding exams. I think I've already addressed this question. The next one is I am an MSc in computer science with 71%. Can I be eligible for this? See, the eligibility criteria is bachelor's degree in engineering in any branch or bachelor's degree in any discipline with postgraduate qualification which is of minimum two years in computer science, computer applications, information technology. So you have a postgraduate, you are MSc in computer science, thus you are eligible for this exam. Another question is, I know only basics of programming. Can I prepare for this exam with two, three months of hard work? So you have time right now. The notification may not be there in two, three months. So I will advise you, you can start right now. You have the basic understanding of programming. You can give your best. You can prepare in the best possible way. And yes, with few months, with four, five months of preparation, you can clear this exam. Next query is want to know more about the exam, how to prepare for SEBI IT when the notification is expected about SEBI IT exam. I think I have addressed all of these. Then the next is other BE, BTEC branches also eligible to apply for IT? Yes. You are BE in mechanical and yes, you are eligible to appear for this exam. Then the next is how to prepare for SEBI IT officer and what are the quality that they want from us for the officers. So there are various departments. You will be in support role, you will be in development role, you will be in operations role. So there are various kind of roles, but yes, whatever is there in the syllabus and also the coding part. They expect you to have an idea of all these areas. Then the next question is where to practice coding questions for SEBI IT. There is lead code platform, which is similar to Padikshik platform, the one that comes in the exam. So as of now, you can start your preparation. You can start your practice on the lead code platform. Then how to manage study and work as I'm a working professional. So here, assuming that a working professional can give around two to three hours on a daily basis to their preparation, on weekdays and on weekends around five to six hours so daily basis you should devote half hour to your ga preparation read any newspaper and follow bpedia just go through it you do not need to mug it up as of now the next two two and a half hours should be devoted to it concepts and coding practice so you can devote two days a week to your it topics three days a week to your coding practice then on Saturday, you can focus on your quant reasoning English practice. If you are good in QRE, you can also use Saturday for your IT topics. On Sunday, you should revise the entire week's work. This way, you should start in a steady, slow, focused way, covering the syllabus slowly. After a few months, around two to three months, you will realize that you have covered some portion of the syllabus and you will feel more confident. And then you can keep on devoting more time, keep on practicing. And then you will be able to cover up the syllabus and attempt this exam. I am again repeating, please understand, we can guide you. But you will have to put in the hard work. So you should be mentally prepared to be that much focused and dedicated to your preparation 
After all, this is a very good opportunity that might come your way. I hope I have addressed these queries and you have some clarity as of now. If not, please fill the Google form that is added in the description. As I have mentioned earlier, at iExambi, we provide course for SEBI Grade A IT 2025 preparation, for which we are starting a new batch from 30th of November. You can also check out the various success stories on our channel, incorporate their preparation strategies, use their points in your preparation journey, and be confidently prepared for this exam. We have been guiding students in their preparation for SEBI IT exam over the past 2-3 years. In January 2022, when the notification came, there were 14 vacancies and only 2 got selected. Again, when the notification came in July 2022, there were 24 vacancies from which 8 students were from iExambi who got selected. You can be the next SEBI IT officer. So start preparing now to secure your career. Enroll with iExambi and make your preparation 50% faster. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned.